Hi guys, it's Christy and I am back to make um, some pockets for the cover of our journal. Um, I'm going to use a couple of pieces of ephemera from the Grape Roses kit by Elsie Bell's bookshelf. I'm going to use a craft envelope. Um, I got this envelope, it was a pack, and I want to say I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah, a dollar ninety nine for twenty five envelopes. Not bad. Um, so I'm going to use this envelope, cut it in half, and make a couple pockets out of it. So the first thing I want to do is get this out of the way. Okay, so these envelopes, if I remember correctly, are nine and a half. Sorry about that screeching noise. I think they're nine and a half. Okay, so then I, well, a little shy of nine and a half. Uh, so I'm going to cut it about four, four and three quarters inches. Is that right? That looks right. Yes. Woo. And we're only off. Actually, we're not off at all. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is um, to give the top of the envelope some stability, I'm just going to fold the flap back. Don't really need it. I mean, you could attach it as a pocket to the page like that and just have that available. But what I want to do is fold that back and then I'm going to fold this down as a little tuck and then we'll have the pocket back here. So the first thing I'm going to do is ink, or I should say the next thing. I want to ink around. Because it's harder to ink once you, once you get it sewn. Um, because we're going to fold this flap down here, I need to kind of ink inside here a little bit, just on this corner. There we go. Okay. And, yeah, I think that's... I'm going to go ahead and ink along here, because that may or may not so, uh, show. All right, so let's do this one. I'm going to ink around the perimeter. And I'm not being neat about it. Let's go inside. Get that little piece. And, whoops. Runaway sponge. Okay. I want to get that just in case. And then I want to do inside this corner where it, it's going to be folded down. Okay. I also want to ink around these pieces, but I think I've got plenty of ink on the sponge. Um, this piece, I think, because I want to fold that corner pocket down, um, I think I'm going to trim this piece just a tad. Maybe like um, three-eighths on each side. Okay. Just so I still have a little, uh, a little room left to fold is tucked down. So, um, what do I do with my sponge? There it is. And there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do, now that I know, I want this one to be on here 
like this. I'm going to put some lace on the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of hold my finger there and put so I know where I want this. Kind of see if I can get it straight somewhat. And then I'm going to ink this edge here. Okay. I want to leave those together so that I don't forget what goes where. And on this one, this is going to be here. Get it straight. And then I'll fold this down just using my finger to mark where I want it. And then I'll go ahead and ink that piece. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to go sew around these two pieces of ephemera of the of Lilia. I'm going to go sew around these two pieces of ephemera. There we go. Say that three times fast. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just sew around here, all four sides. And what that will do is it will hold this piece down. Um, it'll also hold, actually, I'm going to put a little a little glue just in the middle of this flap to kind of hold that down until I sew it. Whoops. And there won't be any sewing near the glue because it's just a little dot in the middle. And I'm going to sew around all four edges of that. And then we will be back and decorate. See you in a minute. Okay, and all I did, I, I, I hope you can see that, I just did a tiny little edge stitch. Uh, it's a straight stitch, and I did the same thing around the pockets. So we have this here, and if I need to, I might have to add a little bit more glue to this flap, but now that I'm done sewing, actually they're, they're glued pretty good. But anyway, all I did was go around the edges, and that holds this mostly down, but it's going to be glued to the page. So the first thing I want to do is, I always say the first thing, but it is the next thing. The next thing I want to do is attach these little pieces of ephemera. And like I said, these are from, I think I mentioned these are from the kit, the grape roses. Elsie Bell's bookshelf. Okay, I'm just going to stick this here in between. This one. I love this little alphabet. Okay, so that's just going to go in that space. Just center it top and bottom, side to side, between that flap and the edge. Here we go. I got a little ooze there, but I don't know if it's ooze or baby wipes, so I guess we'll find out. But it doesn't matter because supposed to be grungy. But instead of using my sticky fingers, I'll just do that. See if that works a little bit better. Okay, so let's put some lace trim along the bottom. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to put the flat back pearls on here. It is the front and the back cover and sometimes 
that can get a little banged up. So I, I don't know. I'm going to wait and see. At least until I'm finished putting in all the signatures and all of that. But I, I think I'll probably skip that. All right, let's put some down here. This cardstock really wants to curl. And the craft paper just really sucks up the glue. So I have to put a little bit more. Okay, now let's put them in the cover. Okay, so um, I did go ahead and add an extra strip of paper here. I need a little bit more glue there, but um, you can hardly tell. Um, but this is just from the, you know, there's a technical term for it, but the front pages have this um, uh, on both ends of the, the book itself. Um, and I've taken and I've also cut down a tag for the front pocket because these didn't have any writing in them. I'm so excited. Okay. Doesn't take much to excite me. <laughs> All right, isn't that going to be cute? I just love that. I've got the stack of of craft envelopes, and so I thought, man, I should, I should use these more. Um, so glad I pulled those out. I really like it. Put some glue under there just to hold that down. Okay. And in she goes. I usually put a couple of large tags in the front and back pocket. So that's what we'll be doing here. Okay, let's do this one. Now it just occurred to me that um, I could have adhered this and made another pocket. Same thing with the alphabet here. But I did not think of it until just this moment because that would have made a little cute little tuck spot, but that's okay. Okay, so there we go. There's our, hope you can see that. Yeah, there's our inside pockets for our Grape Roses journal. And I, I like it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.